What is going on, guys? Um, great, great, great to make another video. <sighs> Coffee. Um, I have a ton of stuff here. Once again, um, I really need to try my ass off to make more videos because making these ridiculously long videos. I know some of y'all like them, some of them you don't. Um, kind of gets kind of old making extremely long videos every single time. Um, but I guess it's worth it if y'all are watching. And judging by the comments down below and the feedback I've been getting on my Dirt Road Collectibles page on Facebook, um, y'all are watching, so I appreciate that, as always. Um, so we'll just jump right into the mix. Um, we'll get into the failures I sent to... Mr. Larry Zonka, uh, he sent me this little card, it's like just a little, uh, it's flimsier than a postcard, thicker than a piece of paper, and a business card, and the business card basically tells me to go to his website um, due to recent autograph requests, due to the travel schedule and various engagements and other commitments, I've been able to fulfill autograph requests individually. Um, I hope and close this autograph card will suffice for your personal collections, autograph footballs, jerseys, mini helmets, pro football helmets, 8x10s, photos are available online at larryzonka.com. Thank you so much for your continued interest and support. Sincerely, not signed, Larry Zonka. So there's that. So if you want Larry Zonka, go to larryzonka.com. Um, I went there because I was going to purchase a card. Um, I really was for my autograph uh, Hall of Fame collection I've been working on. They don't sell cards there, so I'll probably just go to Feebay and um, buy one that's already slabbed there. Um, another, what I think is a failure, which kind of bums me out, because um, not only am I a country music fan, but obviously I'm a big football football fan. Um, I sent to Hank Williams Jr. Um, I've got him in the past, and I, and I, you know, would bet a dollar that it was real. Um, this one, I would bet you ten thousand dollars that it's fake. <laughs> So here it is. Ah, oh, come on, camera. No, you really can't see it. My camera's not gonna focus in, but yeah, you can kind of see it, right? It's uh, it's mainly on this half of the card, and Hank does not sign like that at all. Um, so pretty bummed. I actually went out of my way to get this card. Um, paid a lot more than what I should have to get that card and um, yeah there's no way that's and it signed Hank he doesn't sign his autograph like that at all um, so I'm probably gonna get some fingernail polish remover and see if I can remove it and if it jacks up well then I'll just buy another one I'll try one more time because um, I've gotten them on five by sevens and stuff like that and it was real um, let's see, um, this is kind of off topic, but my wife and I last night went to uh, Wharf in Orange Beach, Alabama, and went and seen Chris Young, so any of y'all that are country music fans, um, definitely know who Chris Young is, and he put on a really good show, um, he had, it was him and Cassidy Pope, um, I'm not a big female artist fan. Um, it's really not my thing, and uh, she was alright, you know, she she didn't do very many songs, I think her set was like five or six songs, and two of them were hers, um, but Chris Young definitely rocked the, rocked the house. Um, I'm not going to go through all of these, I bought a lot on eBay for $7.99, I bought the lot for this card, Mr. John Mackey, and you look at that autograph and how it's weird how it wraps around his afro. Uh, he he does that a lot on his cards. Not all, but a lot. Um, so as silly as this card looks, that is definitely real. He definitely signs like that. Um, but um, for under $10, I think it was like right at $10 shipped. He couldn't beat it. Honestly, I've never heard of any of these guys. So um, later today, I shouldn't have too much going on later today. I might get on the old World Wide Web and um, find out who some of these guys are. Maybe I have another diamond in the rough here that I didn't know about. Um, this came in and over, it was over 
700 days. Um, Don, uh, I, I can't never pronounce this dude's name, Prudhomme. I mean, he's an NHRA legend. This dude is the, is the business. So super happy to get him. I hadn't sent him off. I hadn't sent any NASCAR stuff off in a long time. So when I opened, opened it and seen it was a press pass legends, I knew that, that sucker's been out for a minute. Um, got in Ron Rivera, as in uh, as a lot of y'all did this week. Um, but he actually inscribed Super Bowl XX champions. And I normally would wait for my camera to focus, guys. But with me having a fat stack of cards here, I don't have the luxury to to wait for the camera to focus. Um, but trust me, it's there. Um, I got in Shaquille O'Neal this week again. Um, this is going to be the last time I send to him. At least the last time I plan on sending him. I just sent it off because it was a relic card. And uh, I do like to get some relic cards signed from time to time. There's still word on the street that that's um, an auto pin signature. Um, for y'all that don't know what an auto pin is, it's like a machine that signs items, whatever you put underneath it, whatever flat items you put underneath it, um, and signs it to basically the specifications of whoever the celebrity or athlete is. Um, so it's not a real signature. It sure as heck looks like one, um, but it's not. But I've been seeing a lot of his stuff past PSA DNA and JSA. That doesn't mean anything here or there. Um, but to me, those, those um, ladies and gentlemen are experts. So if they pass it, I'll purchase it. And I'll send some of mine in here before too long. And I actually have a large order at PSA DNA. Um, right now, I think it's like 10 items getting authenticated. So I'll be excited to show you all that stuff when, they, when it comes in. I uh, got, got this in yesterday. I sent three items. Let's see. These three items to Mr. Haven Moses. A wide receiver back in the day. He signed all three. Plus, he sent me this little fella. And then he wrote me a nice note on the bottom of my letter. I just cut it out. It says, Garrett, um, many thanks. Many thanks for all that you do um, to make our country safe. And then signed at Haven 25. So that was really cool. Um, next, I got in Mark Burnell. Remember this guy back in the day? I don't think. Well, I, I know. He didn't pan out to what a lot of people think he or thought that he was going to be. Uh, Mr. Roan Stark, ex-punter for the Colts um, back in the early 90s, mid-90s. Um, he is actually a really tough TTM to get. I didn't think he was. I didn't know anything about that uh, when I sent off to him. Um, but uh, I do a lot of re more research now on... TTMs and I used to now that I've kind of dove into this and uh, apparently he's really hard to get he doesn't sign every item that comes across his uh, mailbox if you will so I was really happy to get that um, I've got this gentleman a couple times but it was always on Al Alabama cards so really happy to get him on Dallas Cowboys card Mr. Leroy Jordan and I've really been enjoying getting these old timers on the old time cards. Like how, we'll back it up just a little bit, how I sent all these old cards to Mr. Haven Moses. And I really like this one. So it's like just an old playing card. Um, and he sent me this. This is a newer card. Not brand new, but you know he wasn't playing... You know, when this card came out, I really like getting those old school cards signed by those old school, old school ballers, if you will. Whew. So we got to pick it up. Um, here's speaking of old school. This dude's about as old school as it gets um, for living Hall of Famers. Amazing TTMer. Um, for any of you guys that, that don't TTM and are thinking about, man, I, I wouldn't mind TTMing, maybe just sending one or two off. This dude is a must for you. Um, Mr. Charlie Trippy, he signs damn near anything you send him. I've seen many helmets, I've seen footballs, I've seen photos, um, cards, you name it. And these two cards, 
Um, like I just got done saying how I like to send the older cards um, to the older players. Man, this these cards were freaking expensive, man, to buy um, for TTM purposes. Um, I think this card here was like seven bucks, and this one was like six or seven bucks. Um, you could find them cheaper than that. Um, but Mr. Trippy's pretty dang old, man. I didn't want to wait around forever to get these cards for two, three dollars because he may not be here. Um, got an autograph in from the Tuna. He he personalizes everything. So he wrote Garrett, good luck, Bill Parcells, and then at the bottom he wrote Hall of Fame 13. So really happy to get that. I just really, really wish he wouldn't have personalized it. Y'all know my thoughts on personalization, on items. It's just, it's something silly. Um, I don't plan on trading them. I don't plan on selling them. Um, but when I pass them down to my sons, I don't want Garrett all over everything he passed down to the next generation. Just my thoughts. Um, Mick Tinganoff, another Hall of Famer. Signing Hall of Fame, what is that, 15? And Dick LeBeau, I've gotten Mr. LeBeau in a couple times, but I never got him on an old school card. Um, so really happy to get this one in. And the autograph is just beautiful. The Hall of Fame 2010. Uh, Mr. LeBeau is another awesome, awesome TTMer. Um, sometimes he might take up to three months, um, but he's really good about signing his mail. Um, next is Hall of Famer Joe Schmidt. I don't remember if I sent him a donation or not, but he signed Hall of Fame 73, and I did send him this as well, I um, mean, it turned out amazing. This was my first goal line card that I've ever purchased and sent off TTM, and I hate to say it, but I think it, it might have caused a, another thing to collect, which is the last thing I need now is another thing to freaking collect. Um, we are on the home stretch, y'all. So next are all slabbed autographs that I bought for the for the project. Um, first is this 1995 collector's choice, Jerome Bettis. I got it just because the autograph really, really, really pops. I'm pretty picky on when I buy a, a slabbed autograph as far as what the autograph looks like. What does the card look like? Like I don't want to buy a dark card with you know a dark signature you kind of have to finagle the card to for the signature to pop I really like the light backgrounds with the dark signatures just where they like pop in your face um, next Ernie Slaughter this 1954 Bowman um, I think I got this less than twenty five dollars shipped which in my opinion is pretty damn awesome um, coming down to three awesome awesome Hall of Fame quarterbacks. I'm um, starting with Mr. Joe Montagna. Um, I got this on a uh, what's it called on an auction actually, and it went for a lot more than I what I thought it would go for. But once again, I like how the autograph pops. There's nothing dark behind that signature, so it really shows up really good. Next. Um, I honestly didn't know that much about this guy. Um, all I knew was his signature is pretty damn expensive. Um, so when I found this one at what I thought was a really good um, price at the time, and come to find out it was an extremely good price, um, I jumped all over it. Mr. Sammy Ball. And last but not least, um, this is going to go right up there with the Tom Landry that I got in, in a video or two back and the, and the Walter Payton. Um, this one is just huge in my eyes. Um, we'll just get right to it. But Mr. Johnny Yu. And look at that autograph, man. It is so freaking nice. Come on, camera. If you're ever going to work for me, work for me now. So, there you go. Uh, that thing is so nice. Yep. 
um, so that is everything. I uh, appreciate y'all if y'all watch every minute of this or every second of this 15 uh, minute video. Um, thank you, thank you for watching. Um, also, the, f the questions have been coming in like crazy on the Dirt Road Collectibles page. Some of the questions um, from, from you younger tubers. Um, I don't know how to choose my words too wisely right now. Um, can make your head scratch a tiny bit. Um, I'm not going to say names, but I had one young young gentleman ask me if I wanted to trade. And I said, I really don't trade too, too much. And he's like, well, I have a lot to trade. I'm like, well, I'm sure you do. Well, I'm not interested. And it got worse, and it just got uglier and uglier of, to the point of where he's like, why don't you want to trade? You have a nice collection. You can afford to get rid of some of it. Well, that's why I have a nice collection, because I don't freaking trade crap trades. You know, I'm not going to trade you something... $30 value for something $2 value. Um, so young man, if you're watching, you'll learn in time, buddy. Uh, when you get awesome shit, you can trade for awesome shit. That's how it works. But when you have shit, you can't trade for awesome shit. So there you go. There's my um, um, trading lesson of the day. <laughs> uh, so once again, if y'all watch this whole damn video, uh, thank you for staying. Until next time, adios, be safe, and I love yous.